What's up, y'all? This is photography made simple. Don't move. One, two, three. This seriously could be in a magazine. It's just that pretty. If you're new to photography, one thing that I have specialized in and I have trained over the course of my career on YouTube, in person, and everywhere else, hundreds of thousands of photographers, that's not an exaggeration, I specialize in making photography easy. So one thing that we hear a lot is, you know, you guys go where? You go to the most outrageous places, we can't replicate that, you know? Of course you have such an epic background, but here we are. And what did we do tonight with what? We faced toward the street and, you know, got, got all the bokeh from the beautiful tail lights and headlights coming in. And we didn't shoot, awesome. yeah. We kept it really, really simple and it, it, it was some really great results. Yeah. No worries. Love that M. How do you replicate it? It's simple. Find some cars, exist pretty much anywhere on the earth find a background, which in this case we use street lights, we use airport lights, find a subject, a wide aperture lens. And I know I shoot with 1.4s, you could do a lot of this with 1.8, and 1.8 lenses are exponentially cheaper than 1.4 lenses, like about 25% of the cost. So it really is something that you can replicate. The main key here is the modification. The fact that this modifier spreads the light so evenly um, it really puts beautiful, soft light on your subject. And one thing to keep in mind is the closer the light source, the better the light. Um, and then you shoot. Love it, Em. We use all this kind of stuff to create some really beautiful shots with just a single light, a great modifier, back an interesting background, and a beautiful subject. Santa Maria Guadalupe Caliente. <laughs> I had to add a little extra spice to it since we're in uh, California. Look at that. Love it. Oh, that's gorgeous. These are phenomenal. We put a camera right over here so you guys can see. Ooh, Emmy's really going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys can see just how beautiful the light looks. There you go, I love it. These are great. All right, you wanna do some flips? All right, I gotta change my settings. Emily did some uh, dancing earlier on, shaking around, getting her, uh, she's, she's growing her hair out. And so it's really fun for us to be able to put this out because we're watching as our video catalog grows with her we're watching the evolution of her hair growth. <laughs> it's very fun. It is a lot of fun. Yeah, so. so now it can flip. It's flippable. Yeah, we have finally hit the flipping stage. A year and a half. Yeah, I know. So. Just so. good stuff today. Simple and, and beautiful. So for those watching at home, um, you may say, why are you shooting at 4,000 ISO? In order for me to shoot fast at 400ths of a second, I bumped all the way up to 4,000 ISO. You may be wondering about the light. The light's at, I think, 25%. Are you ready? One, two, three. Stop. My They're just look. wild. Like, look at this one where your hair is backlit. <laughs> <laughs> These are fun. Yeah. Remember, I told you, I said it caught, it caught, yeah, it yeah, caught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the trick, is a sweep. Stop. Look at sweep. the first one I looked at. Whoa, yeah, yeah. That was wild though. You were moving. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, go. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Great job. You too. Oh, we got some bangers on this one. It's pretty, right? Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. And that was one thing I was had like had to figure out. Do I want to look at the light? Do I want to look at Jason? Whatever it is, be consistent. Because if you're here, your eyes are going to be all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Closed, yeah. open, and like pick one. You know? Yeah.
I love it, I love it, I love it. Emily's doing her yoga. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Jason Lanier. I'm Emily Ronaldo. We're gonna show you guys how to set up the Illuminator and how to make your photography life simple by using this product. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like right out of the bag. You're gonna get an Illuminator. And right now it's wet. It's not gonna come out of the package like that. It's wet because we're next to the ocean. So you're gonna watch Miss Emily here just open it up, guys. It's just a simple umbrella. Just like that. Emily is the new Mary Poppins. First thing you're gonna need is an umbrella bracket. And you're gonna put the umbrella bracket onto the light stand, tighten her down, and then you add the light. So then you're gonna add the light. This could be a Neo2, an EOS, or the Innova Pro 2. The Innova Pro 2 has a yoke on it, and we'll show a picture here. And you would just slide the bolt into the yoke to be able to do the same thing. Okay, then I'm gonna tighten this down. So once you put the light on, this gets simple. If you plan on using this to tilt your light at all, you're gonna to wanna to mount it from the bottom, the white part of the illuminator, because that's gonna give you the ability to tilt with it. If you're gonna shoot straight on, then you add it through the black or the back piece. I primarily use the white one, and the reason I use the white one is it gives me that ability to angle and tilt my light, which can give me softer light, because then the light can be coming down on my subject. Now, if you wanna mount it through the white, what you're gonna do is angle it down to start, like so. It needs to be angled down so the stem can come straight through. Here's the white part I'm talking about. You're just gonna put this right over the light, like so. And then you're gonna take the stem and feed it right through the area. Now you can tilt it. Now you can decide what angle of tilt you want with the light, just like that, okay? so. For me personally, once I've done that part and tilted it, then I tighten this and I put it more level just so it's easier for me to use. So this is the black back piece that I was speaking about. Just take the black back piece and you feed it through, just like so. Now you get the stem of the umbrella. There's a black silver backing, a hole. You grab this and just set it right like so. So then I utilize the zippers. So again, there's a very long zipper on the back. This is the black back. I utilize this to get to the access panel to get to my lights, whatever it needs to be. So now I just move this. So this bottom white piece you access to be able to adjust the height on the illuminator. Now the important thing is once you have your light set up, you're ready to go, tighten everything down and make sure to zip these guys up. You wanna contain that light. You wanna zip it up this way, and zip it up this way to contain the light so there's no light leak. Now, if you wanna mount it through the back, just this normal black piece, you just have the light upright, push the stem of the umbrella through, Put the black piece over just like that. Just like so. And then you adjust the light stand here. This is the easier way to set it up because you don't have to mess with the, black, the bottom white piece. You don't have to mess with the light stand. The light stand, you can adjust the height without having to go through the bottom. The only reason that I recommend the other way is it gives you more of a tilt. So if you don't need the tilt, that's fine. Um, as you can see, this way is very, very easy. One of the main reasons we added that very large zipper to the bottom of the illuminator is because we wanted the ability to tilt the light. The black piece in the back is a silver reflector, so you can actually shoot backwards into it. What do you think, Em? I think it's beautiful. I, the size of it is what puts out such that soft light, and it's awesome, you know, Neo2 fills it, and it's amazing what you know, what you can get with just a Neo2 using the Illuminator. It's about 7.40 at night right now. Some went down about two hours ago. Um, the AOS is at 5% right now. This is 5% light that's hitting us. Yeah, a Neo2 inside of an Illuminator, it's beautiful. Yeah, the Neo2 would probably be, it's a third of the power, so it'd be at, you know, not 15%, realistically probably 30%, but 
truly, it really creates a, an amazing uh, light. The thought process behind the Illuminator was simple. There are products that are smaller, that have the white front and the black back. They're too small, was my main issue. Then we went, into, we went big into the seven foot parabolic umbrellas. <laughs> we're doing the seven footers everywhere. The problem is there's a lot of light leak that goes out of the back of them. So we wanted a way to contain that light. And it's not only, you could say, well, why do you want to contain the light if you only need 5%? Clearly you have a lot of light. I don't want any light contamination into my composition. So this really contains the light. It spreads it and it lights you evenly from head to toe, which is amazing. So. We're going to do another video for you guys coming soon, which is where we show you how to set exposure with Rotolite and this product, and we hope it really helps. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I really believe that the Illuminator is an amazing product. It's one of the main reasons I've been one of the key proponents behind the creation of the product and just for us to have products like this in the marketplace. So we hope this has helped, guys. Until what, Miss Emmy? So until next time. Keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. Find out the other works for. You. And remember what? You only have one chance to get it right. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Want to tell them where to find you? Uh, sure. You can find me on Instagram at em.explores. And where can they find you? At Jason Lanier Photography. You did awesome. Great you did job. Too. Way to keep it simple. Those are great tips. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. We love you guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Isn't that crazy, all yeah. of this right here? Yeah. This is what I originally started doing at Made Pros Mad, then why we added it to the outro. It wasn't a put-on, this is literally what I do to clean the lenses.